When I went to college, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I know I liked creating and drawing. I knew I wanted to study music, but I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do with that. I think it's going to be one of the most exciting decades to be an artist. The tools that we have within the arts, enterprise, and cultural innovation minor help folks find a life, a way to make a creative life. There's just so much that I have learned here so far. My experience has boosted my confidence. If you want to do something creative, now is the perfect time. We've been graced with this exceptional puzzle that is the planet. This summer, the Kilauea volcano started erupting. What we were interested in was expanding our knowledge of the volcano into this domain that's hard to see. It was the closest I think I'll ever be to seeing such a raw physical process happen in front of my eyes. This is what we do at Western. We give undergraduates these hands-on research experiences. This trip has opened my eyes to how incredible research can be. It changed my life. Campus to Campus is a beautiful reciprocal relationship that's really centered on how to support young students to see themselves in a different kind of way and see the possibilities for their future. Ali was one of our first mentors. A lot of people have believed in me along the way, Ali being one of them. She's always inspired me. Now I'm at Western actually going to college. It's changing lives for the young students that we work with and it's changing lives for the mentors who work with them. having the opportunity to study with scientists that are actively doing research in the environment is life-changing. Being undersea and getting to see all of those ecosystems firsthand is what really keeps me going. And the fact that I could be out there and potentially lead to a more diverse ecosystem with my research is really exciting.
I would summarize my experience at Western as I was a guarded, nerdy kid who loved to perform, who allowed herself to put in the time and effort to carve herself into something. Jump in the trunk, uh-uh. Jump in the trunk, uh-uh. And whatever that was has led me to where I am right now, to be a fully realized woman. And I'm really thankful for the time and the effort that I put in for myself, because if I didn't do it, no one else was going to. questions that we are asking at Mars are the biggest questions that human beings can ask. Are we alone in the universe? And how unique are we? One of the instrument team that I am a part of, um, that instrument is on the rover getting ready to go to Mars. You drop in in the morning and you're on another planet. I keep myself grounded in the fact that what I wanted to do as a child, I've made it. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets reached clear the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave 
Hello, graduates. Uh, Governor Jay Inslee here. On behalf of the people of Washington State, I would like to congratulate you on your tremendous achievement. Now, while we can't gather in person, it should not stop us from celebrating what you've accomplished. Earning your degree, I know, has been difficult. It took focus, commitment, hard work, and creativity. But to finish your degree amidst this pandemic is truly remarkable. Not only have you managed to navigate your studies, you've helped protect the people of Washington by staying home, masking up, and keeping your distance. Those uh, sacrifices have saved lives, and I would like to thank you for that. This year has shown the awesome responsibility we all have. As graduates, our world needs your talents. We need your innovation, your brilliance, and your commitment to building a stronger state, country, and world. And I know you are up to that task. You're part of the smartest, most scientifically literate generation in history. But today, I hope that you can take time to safely celebrate all that you've accomplished, protect yourself and those around you, and a big congratulations. Go get them. Good afternoon, members of the class of 2020, members of the faculty and staff, families and friends of the graduates. Welcome to a most unusual commencement ceremony. I would like to begin by thanking you for the difficult sacrifices you have made, especially over the last few months. Like you, I am deeply disappointed that we aren't together in person to celebrate your accomplishments. I am sorry that the final months of your time at Western Washington University were so dramatically altered by a global pandemic. And although you are tuning in from places all over the state and country, and perhaps even a few from outside of the United States. I'd like to acknowledge that I'm standing today on campus in front of Old Main on the ancestral homelands of the Coast Salish peoples who have lived in the Salish Sea Basin all throughout the San Juan Islands and the North Cascades watershed from time immemorial. We express our deepest respect and gratitude to our indigenous neighbors, the Lummi Nation and Nooksack tribe for their enduring care and protection of our shared lands and waterways. And to all of our essential frontline workers, a heartfelt thank you for the sacrifices you make every day. You are critical to keeping our society functioning, making sure that every one of us is safe healthy and has access to all of the resources we need. We extend to you our sincere appreciation. We honor and thank our graduating veterans and their family members for their service and sacrifices. As we do at every commencement ceremony, I would like to acknowledge the students who passed away this year, still in the pursuit of completing their degree. Please join me in a moment of silence to honor these students. Academic commencement is a centuries-old tradition. Over the past 127 years, Western Washington University has conferred more than 130,000 degrees. Commencement is a time to celebrate, but also a time of reflection about values, commitments, and above all, the people whose dedication make this moment possible. Please join me as we recognize those who have made possible the achievement of today's graduates and who have helped in many ways, emotionally, spiritually, financially, and with lasting love and affection. Although I can't see you, I know you are out there. All the families and friends of graduates, please take a moment to allow your graduates to show their appreciation for your guidance and support. Western's greatest pride is the accomplishments of our graduates and the contributions they make to their communities and our society. Our faculty help nurture this creativity and excellence, and it is our faculty and staff who provide the mentorship and support needed for long-term growth and success. 
I add my personal thanks to this outstanding group of dedicated and caring mentors and teachers. The hallmark of a Western education is academic excellence, and our mission is to be an international leader in active learning, critical thinking, and societal problem solving. Our graduates are the greatest contributions we make to society, and we are committed to inclusive excellence in a teaching and learning environment that ensures success of every student at Western. This moment celebrates your hard work and perseverance. Your degree is well-earned and it is also a gift to you given by many. Your families, the people of Washington, our faculty and staff, and the many donors and alumni who support scholarships and add a margin of excellence. Looking to the future, your most lasting accomplishment will be found in the lives you touch. I am confident you will bring your intellect, your fresh ideas, and your commitment to serve others to creating positive change in our world. You know that the most valuable gift any of us has is the gift of giving back. Education becomes truly higher when we put it to higher purposes. We celebrate and congratulate each of you today on your many achievements at Western Washington University. And now as we prepare to confer your degrees, I ask a final question for this historic graduating class of 2020. As you prepare to step out into a different world after this great pause, what next? Of course, this question has been asked of every graduating class since there have been universities. But for the class of 2020, the question is charged with historic importance, responsibility, and yes, opportunity. The coronavirus pandemic has pulled a curtain back on things we could not, or perhaps chose not, to see so clearly as an entire society before. Even before the pandemic, we recognized deepening social inequalities, the increasing urgency of environmental issues, and a world becoming more polarized and divided. The inescapable disruption of the present crisis has given us the permission and a mandate to think in less incremental terms about the sort of future we want for ourselves, for our communities, and for our shared humanity. The great pause of the coronavirus has helped us slow down, look up and appreciate the quiet beauty of clear skies, sparkling waters, and mountain tops. It has made us think about the fundamental value of relationships and importance of communities. It has sparked ingenuity and opened our minds to the possibility that perhaps the new normal doesn't have to restore everything from the past. There is no doubt that we have a difficult road ahead and that many of the opportunities that usually await new graduates have been disrupted. And yet, despite all of the uncertainty and upheaval of these past few months and the months to come, indeed, because of it, there are also extraordinary opportunities to question, innovate, and improve on systems that do not serve us as well as they should. You'll be the first graduates of the reset generation, and your fresh thinking, your idealism, and your commitment to creating a better world will be needed to help reimagine and repair the issues this pandemic has exposed. There has never been a better time in living memory to make waves. Will you make them? I believe that you can and you will. The world truly cannot wait for you. Today, we are proud to send you forth as Western graduates, knowing that you will be leaders, problem solvers, and engaged citizens that create a better future.
Hello fellow Vikings. Today there are 1,329 students graduating from all over the world. Congratulations! Congratulations. I am Nagisa Ishikawa from Shizuoka, Japan. Minasan konnichiwa! I came to America four years ago and I'm so happy to be one of the students graduating today. Hi everyone, I'm Ryan Lee and I'm standing in front of the iconic Yupanamuku statue on the world famous Konnichi Beach. And I'd just like to say congratulations to your graduates, we did it! Hi, my name is Sydney Evans and I'm from Rochester, New Hampshire. I'm an out-of-state student at Western and I just want to congratulate everyone graduating this fall quarter and uh, I want to shout out the multidisciplinary studies majors like myself and I want to thank uh, Nicole Ebersol in the athletic department at Western for making my time here so special and Skull Vikes! Hi, I'm John Paul from Erie, Colorado, living in Boise, Idaho. I want to say congratulations to all my fellow graduates. I want to give a special thanks to my family, my girlfriend, all my friends and coworkers at the Rec Center, and all my fellow peers in the kinesiology degree. Hi, my name is Carly Marker, and this is my sweet friend, Toby. We both are from Wenatchee, Washington. Congrats, fellow Western grads. Campus is so lonely without you. We celebrate all our graduates from me to you. Congratulations. Hi, this is Lauren Decker from Forks, Washington. Um, congrats to my fellow grads. This is probably the hardest time to pursue education and we did it, so. Hi, I'm Aubrey Deal and I'm here in Oak Harbor, Washington. This last year has been really crazy for us, but we did it, Western grads. Congratulations. This is Elizabeth Soren from Everett, and from me to you, congratulations. You did it. Hello, I am Jennifer Todd, and this is my home on Tea Lake in the beautiful Tahuya, Washington. What an honor it is to be a part of this graduating class. Congratulations and best wishes for your next adventure. Woo! This is Tyler from Olympia, Washington. Behind me is the Washington State Capitol Building. And on my behalf, I want to congratulate all Western 2020 graduates. Hi, my name is Josephine Martinez and I'm from SeaTac, Washington. And I would like to give a warm congratulations to the last graduating class of 2020. <laughs> this is Carl Trump from Newcastle. To all 2020 graduates, we did it. Hi, I'm John Slayer, and I'm up here in Bellingham to wish you all congratulations. It's been tough doing everything remotely, but we did it. We made it through Zoom University. Woo! Bruce Jones out here on Red Square. Class of 2020, what a great ride. It's been a heck of a year. Keep on persevering. We got this. Hey, fellow Western grads, it's Nadia here in front of the Red Sculpture. Uh, this wasn't the year that we expected, but if we can make it through this year, we can make it through anything. Congratulations! Congratulations! The last few years have been nothing short of an incredible experience. The knowledge and connections we have gained will stay with us for the rest of our lives. We are virtually gathered here today to celebrate one of our greatest accomplishments thus far. After long nights in the Wilson Library trying to make sense of our homework, dozens of office hour visits, a few parking tickets, and daily workouts, walking from one end of Western's massive campus to the next, we finally made it to our commencement ceremony. Orrin Hatchett states, there is a good reason they call these ceremonies commencement exercises. Graduation is not the end, it's the beginning. The actual meaning of the word commencement is to begin something. We are starting something rather than ending it. Even though we have endured so much these past few years, this is only the start. I stand before you all today humbled by the task bestowed upon me. I stand before, before you today grateful for the opportunity to address this class that will go down into history. And I stand before you all today with hope that despite a global pandemic, racial tensions, and everything else 2020 has brought, this memorable era in history will pass, 
and this generation will be one of the greatest our world has ever seen. Before moving to Washington State at the age of 16, I was raised by my great grandmother in rural Stapleton, Georgia. This strong Southern black woman showed me at a young age the importance of receiving an education. The great grandchild of Georgia's slaves, she was forced to drop out of high school at a young age, but that did not stop her from learning. My father always told me to never let your schooling get in the way of your education. She read to me every day and taught the importance of knowing the real history of our heritage. She never had the opportunity to go to college, but that never once deterred her from inspiring her nine children and over 60 grands and great grands to go to college. She sat me down every night to read me a book. She made sure I sat at the kitchen table every day to make sure I completed my schoolwork. She did this because she knew the importance of receiving an education. I asked her one day why she did not work. Her response was, I work every day. I work to make sure you get to school and stay in school. She said, I work so you can be the best that you can be. I tell you this story because we should never forget the people who sacrificed so we could be here today. When I first walked into Western's campus, I thought of her and millions of other family members and friends who inspired people to go to college. College campuses are indeed magical places. It's a place where we can struggle, we learn and grow into incredible human beings. Almost anything can happen here on a college campus. One day we might be empowered by the great Dr. Angela Davis in the PAC, and another day we are dancing to Odessa in Civic Stadium. Campuses are incredible because of the people and experiences that made this journey powerful. I will never forget the hundreds of walks up and down High Street or the midnight strolls through campus with friends reflecting and laughing about our adventures about everything. With great memories also came struggle. There might have been a class that we might not have made the grade for or a professor we did not get along with. I personally suffered from this thing called procrastination. I always had a hard time doing things ahead of time. We learn from our failures. It's still hard for me to say no to going to functions, but it's these experiences and lessons that make us stronger. I remember walking through campus on my first day of class. The campus was packed with people. I walked into my Psychology 101 class with my heart racing out of my chest. On that first day of class is where I saw the beauty of being on a college campus. It's where I saw communities being formed and students creating long lasting memories. Our student body never shied away from expressing our beliefs, from the many protests and sit-ins to speaking with powerful faculty and staff about issues we felt dearly about. This is where it all happened. This is where we became advocates for civil rights and powerful leaders in our communities. College campuses are indeed magical because of the blood, sweat, and tears students go through every year to be successful. Although we have completed one of the greatest tasks of our lives thus far, we should always find time to reflect on what we've accomplished. There will always be something that may lead to another, but it's up to us to remember all the hardships and long-lasting memories we've made. Coach Jimmy Valvano from the V Foundation once stated in his legendary SB speech, when people say to me, how do you get through life or each day? It's the same thing. To me, there are three things we should do every day. Number one is laugh. You should laugh every day. Number two is think. You should spend some time in thought. Number three is you should have your emotions move to tears. Could be happiness or joy. But think about it. If you laugh, you think, and you cry, that's a full day. That's a heck of a day. You do that seven days a week, you're going to have something special. My fellow peers, our generation has the potential to change this world. We have the potential to heal our people and set this world on a different path. And as I close here today, as the great late Chadwick Boseman once stated at one of Howard University's commencements, graduating class, hear me well on this day. When you have reached the hilltop and you are deciding on your next job, next step, careers and future education, find purpose than a job or career. Purpose cross disciplines. Purpose is an essential element of you. It is the reason you are on this planet at this particular time in history. Your very existence is wrapped up in the things you are here to fulfill. Thank you all so much.
Hello uh, to the graduates of 2020 from Western Washington University, and you are graduating in extraordinary times. It took a lot of hard work, but you made it happen. We just want to let all the graduates know how proud we are of all the hard work you've done to graduate this year, and also how proud we are to have been part of your success here at Western. It has been an absolute delight to be in community with many of you during your time at Western. You come into Western at the end of your childhood and you leave as grown-ups. And it is such an honor and a privilege to be with you along that journey. I'm sorry that COVID happened and you don't get this walk and get your degree, but don't let this define you. This pandemic cannot extinguish the passion, drive, and resilience that burns in each of you. You've seen barriers before, you've seen hurdles before, and you've overcome all of them. This was no different. You should be proud of yourself, and I couldn't be prouder of you. Even if it might not be what you thought it would look like, this is still your moment, and I really hope that you take the time to reflect on that. This is all about you right now. Friends you made, what you did, you finished something you started that you really believe in, you did it, and that matters. And I wish I could be there to say congratulations to you in person, give you a hug, and to watch you walk across that stage. But for now, we'll celebrate virtually and look forward to the day that we can be together again. Thank you for being our students and our friends and our colleagues. There's a lot of beauty in the world that you bring through your thinking, through your acts of kindness, through your activism. Each one of you is unique and special, but all of you share a wonderful enthusiasm for learning. There's a saying, be careful what you wish for. And we all are going to be put in this kind of environment. Even Professor Rail has to figure out how to teach online and how to deal with technology as an old geezer. And you all have to deal with an environment that's really going to be very uncertain and challenging. And that, I think, is what we've trained you to do in terms of your ability now to be comfortable in uncertain situations. And we've given you the capabilities now the ball's in your court. But you're prepared, and I'm encouraging you to walk boldly in the direction of your dreams and to continue to stand for positivity and truth. And in the meantime, don't forget to take care of yourself. I'm sure you'll miss this part of your story, but I'm just as sure you're glad this chapter's done. Take a breath. Enjoy your accomplishments. You earned it. This new college degree of yours is something that most people in the world don't have. And so it's a privilege and a power even. It may feel like today is the natural culmination of your time here because of all the time you've spent surrounded by others also exploring their education. But the reality is in the last census, only 33.4% of Americans have an undergraduate degree. And this gets even lower when it's worldwide. It's only 6.7% of the population that has the degree that you just completed. You should be extremely proud of what you've accomplished. We'll all be watching you, your class of 2020. Where are you now? What are you doing? This is your uniqueness. Embrace it. And I, for one, can't wait to see what you do with it. I hope that you Keep in touch and let us know about all your successes in the future. Uh, please stay safe, stay smart, and stay healthy during these uh, unprecedented times in our lives. And just sending some positive vibes as you move on to the next chapter. I wish for you all the very best that your education can offer, which is this. To always be skeptical and curious, to never become cynical or complacent. Be sure to challenge yourself. And if I can say anything to my younger college graduate self, it would just be to take opportunities and take risks. Get out there and live, my friends. I wish you all the greatest blessings in life and career, and that your success will inspire the next generation to be a little better, a little smarter, and a little wiser than we have been. To all the Western graduates, much peace, much love. Go out there, make us proud. Be well, be healthy. Take care. Hello, I'm David Patrick, Dean of the Graduate School. Western offers over 30 master's degrees in the arts and sciences, education, business, 
healthcare, and other fields. Our graduates today include academic scholars and researchers, working professionals, writers and musicians, parents and teachers, nurses and scientists, who will serve their communities throughout Washington State. We're very proud of our alumni and their accomplishments. Of course, earning a master's degree has never been an easy thing to do, but the class of 2020 can teach us all a thing or two about the meaning of perseverance. Your faith in the promise of the future inspires us. To our recipients of master's degrees today, congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm Scott Young, the Dean of the College of Business and Economics, and you've made it through this really weird time, and you've made it, so congratulations. I'm gonna read a few words from a song. May your hands always be busy. May your feet always be swift. May you have a strong foundation when the winds of changes shift. May your heart always be joyful. May your song always be sung and may you stay forever young. That's a message from the song from Bob Dylan. Congratulations and good luck. Hello, I'm Kit Spicer, Dean of the College of Fine and Performing Arts. The college consists of departments of art and art history, design, music, theater, and dance. We pride ourselves on offering a professional education in the arts and design within a liberal arts environment. Our graduates go on to successful careers challenging and changing the world for the better. To this year's graduates, I salute the many ways in which you worked around the obstacles caused by the coronavirus and COVID-19. I am awed by your passion, your celebration, your grit in plowing ahead. As you move along on your journey, keep in touch. Let us celebrate your successes with you. Take care, be safe. Hello. And hello. My name is Paki Paredes, and I'm the Dean of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences here at Western. If you're graduating from CHSS today, you're graduating from the largest college at Western, becoming a graduate of one of, of our 14 departments or two interdisciplinary programs. In doing so, you're joining the largest community of Western alumni. If we have done our job well, you're graduating today knowing just how much you actually don't know. If we have done our job well, you also know what you can do to always keep learning and to always keep growing. We know you will be making a difference in the world and we are so very proud of you. Congratulations. My name is Brad Johnson and I have the great privilege of serving as the Dean of the College of Science and Engineering. The College of Science and Engineering is Western's home to most of the degree programs in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics including biology, chemistry, computer science, engineering, geology, mathematics, physics and astronomy, material science, and the science, math, and technology education programs. We are proud of the passion and engagement of our faculty and staff, both in the classroom and in mentoring students in project-based and research activities. But most of all, we are proud of you, our graduates, and your remarkable engagement and accomplishments. You have done so many amazing things, and now under such difficult circumstances, working together to make new discoveries, to solve some of the most pressing problems around us, and most of all, taking the lead in moving the college towards being a more inclusive and equitable place to learn. Again, we are so proud of you. Congratulations. Hi, my name is John Bauer, and I am the Dean of the Fairhaven College of Interdisciplinary Studies. Fairhaven is a unique college wherein students write their own interdisciplinary majors, and they also tackle social justice issues confronting the world today. To our Fairhaven graduates, the faculty, staff, and your fellow students at Fairhaven want you to know that we are so very proud of you. You have had the courage and shown the determination to find your own path through academics. Taking the road less taken means you are well prepared to bring your unique perspectives to the rest of the world. And goodness knows the rest of the world is awaiting your wisdom, perspectives, and hard work. Out you go, live well, and make things better. 
Hello, my name is Steve Hollenhorst, and I'm the Dean of the Huxley College of the Environment. Founded 51 years ago as the world's first environmental college, Huxley's innovative, integrative approach is designed to prepare graduates for creative, fulfilling careers working on the planet's most challenging environmental problems. Graduates, Thomas H. Huxley had a few words of advice for you. Learn what is true to do what is right. We are depending on you to stand up for truth, to stand up for science, to stand up for environmental justice, and to stand up for a habitable climate. We know you will bring us through these trying times. The planet needs you. Go get them. Hello, my name is Bruce Larson, and I'm the Dean of Western's Woodring College of Education. We prepare students to be engaged in their communities as teachers and administrators, human service professionals, rehabilitation counselors, in adult and higher education, palliative care, and as nursing leaders. On behalf of the entire college, let me express to you, graduates and your families, a heartfelt congratulations on a job well done. These last few quarters have been like none other, with virtual learning environments, in classes, practicums and internships, Yet we are confident that you are well prepared and we are excited to hear about your engagement with the communities in which you live and work. Again, congratulations. Hello, I'm Mark Greenberg, Dean of the Western Libraries. The library is proud to serve as an intellectual crossroads for the university community and as an innovative partner in Western's teaching and research mission. On behalf of all of my colleagues in the Western Libraries, I wish today's graduates congratulations on reaching this important life milestone. With the knowledge and skills you've acquired at Western, I'm confident that you're prepared to change the world. Find your passion and make a difference. You can do it. And now I'd like to invite Dean David Petrick to present the master's candidates. Master's candidates at home, please prepare to don your hood. President Wandawa, I present the candidates for the master's degree upon the recommendation of their faculty advisors, their thesis committees, and on behalf of our faculty, I certify that they have satisfactorily completed the course requirements for the master's degree, have met the high scholastic standards of the university, and have been approved by the Graduate Council. On the recommendation of the faculty of Western Washington University and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and in conformity with the laws of the State of Washington, I confer upon you the degree appropriate to the work you have completed with all the responsibilities, privileges, and honors thereto pertaining. Congratulations. Emily Ackerland Brent Michael Bodie Gail Cowan Octavio Alonso Cruz Cotto Kelly Davis Trevor Patrick Donnelly Nathan Guilford Jessica Harris Alina Holmes Ian Howard Eric Joseph Lawrence Jenping Lin Hannah Lovett Avery Maverick Elsa Susanna Miller Victoria Suet Ingbreckwald. Alyssa Harris. Kirsten Rinka. Caitlin Ronstadt. 
Sokadoop Singh. Eric Sliman. Ladon Smith. Karen Springer. Locke Trung. Samantha Tuckner. Caitlin Elizabeth Villaroman. Emily Rose Walters. Kelsey Wayne. Megan Wells. Erica Whitney. Provost Carvajal will now join me for conferring the bachelor's degrees upon the eligible candidates. President Rondawa, it is my pleasure to present these candidates. And on behalf of the faculty of Western Washington University, I recommend that they be granted the baccalaureate degree, subject to the satisfactory completion of any outstanding assignments and or requirements. On the recommendation of the faculty of Western Washington University, and by the authority vested in me by our Board of Trustees, and in conformity with the laws of the State of Washington, I confer upon you the degree appropriate to the work you have completed with all the responsibilities, privileges, and honors thereto pertaining. Congratulations, you are now graduates of Western Washington University. It is a tradition that you now move your tassels from right to left. Congratulations. Jessica Adams. Samantha Aga. Danielle Julia Alder. Jordan Keith Anderson. Florence Elizabeth Aria Sanchez. Emily Arsenal. Usama Arshad. Anika Ashoff. Mohammed Atala. Madeline Atwood. Alana Austin. Maria Jose Avila. Martin Ayers. Sarah Falkmeyer. Anna Marie Bailey. Ella Bankin. Kaylin Akai Barber. Ariana Madison Shane Bardell. Katie Barrett. Andrea Ann Quinto Bartolome. Corey Batalia. Ava Lissette Baumgarten. Mason Bales. Team Becker. Aiden Belsky, Nadia Bennett, Sam Bernhardt, Noah Bloom, Jana Bodner, Hannah Bradbury, Laura Brimhall. Ambra Broadhead. Cole Brooks. Javon Mehalani Brown. Shambe Nkrumah Brown. Sky Victoria Bryant. Rose Briars. Janelle Ewing. Charlie Butts, Haley Ann Cable, Erica Caffrey, 
Malia Lay Lopez Canton Buham, Emily Carlson, Madison May Carpenter, Leighton Francis Carol Novak, Sarah Carpenter, Melissa Castle, Brian Chad, Malia Chase, Monica Vanya Chavez, Natapong Shoy Pan, Miguel Angel Sharafe Mendez, Logan Clark. Nicholas Clavijo. Mallory Clausen. Bella Cole Preciado. Davis Colley. McKenna Olivia Lynn Collins. Alex Condit. Chelsea Dincon Consolation. Shanna Cooper, Lindsay Costlow, Dylan Craig, Kira Craig, Mariah Ashley Crisofoli, Brandy Michelle Crockett, Cinder Crow. Benjamin Cundiff. Kathy Dang. Kayla Solom David. Christina Marie Davis. Zafren De La Cerda. Caitlin Deboot. Mariah Jo Deck. Lauren Decker. Sierra Deloche. Derek Demirs. Shantanu Deshmani. Keegan DeVitas. Caitlin Stephanie Diamond. Aubrey Deal. Emily Dijani, Addison Dillon, Kirsten Elaine Dodge, Helen Mari Delessi, Zachary Dahl, Nora Donovan, Christopher Drazik. Shelby Dunlap. Thomas Rivers Dunn. Sheridan Ely. Alicia Aurora Elias. Emma Jean Enga. Cole Erb. Haley Erickson. Emily Rianne Erskine. Elise Ethlicher. Sydney Jordan Evans. Tyler Jacob Fallis. Alicia Rose Falter. Chloe Ashton Farrell. Jennifer Faulkner Forward. Madison Fine, Olivia Ferguson, Stephen Ferraro, Morgan Haley Finger, Bailey Francis Finley, Mary Fitzgerald, Paige Marshall Fletcher. Heidi Fanua, Beth Fox, Erica Francoeur,
Summer Frisbee. Sydney Rochelle Gons. Ashley Gaines. Nathaniel Lewis Gaines. Sarah Gamber. Linnea Garcia. Madeline Rose S. Garcia. Eva Gatpo. Grant Gerber. Mona Gorbani Artham. Kaylin Gillahan. Savannah Gerard. Abigail Bell Gomer. Carlos Gonzalez Jr. Madison Goodwin. Miles Baker Gorey. Jamie Goff. Julie Ava Grace. Sterling Greer. Erica Groudle. Cooper Douglas Grove. Stephanie Kate Guerin. Selena Louise Gutierrez. Adam Haddad. Stella Marie Hagen. Erica Leigh Hagiiwa. Austin Daniel Hall. Corey Hall. Alana Halliday. Sarah Jane Hansen. Shiri Deborah Hyardeni. Carissa Hayes. Kyle Haney, Casey Herbert, Tessa Heiberg, Olivia K. Heindel, Alana Helen Christie, Holly Henderson, Leah Henriksen, Alyssa Herbert. Julianne Herford. Morgan Higgins. Aaron Higley. Shazmi Marcel Hippel. Samantha Leora Hoffman. Colton James Hogarth. Marina Hollenbeck. Lauren Holkamp. Maxwell Hughes. Michaela Hughes. Luke Holbert. Catherine Huntington. Mia Michelle Hutter. Christopher O'Francia Ignacio. Morgan Inman Long. Nagisa Ishikawa. Arzu Jamalzada. Margaret Matthew James. Lillian Haramio. Eric Jensen. Chloe Johnson. Quinn Johnson. Brittany Paige Jones. Bruce Jones. Marika Ellie Yorna. Dax Joubert Husson. Paige Elizabeth Junkin. Mira Noel Kakar. Zachary Kalusis. Sally Khan. Skylar Caster. 
Spencer Lee Katz. Aliyah Kanoyalani Kerr. Mariah Ann Kerr. Parkamal Kaur Cabra. Hannah Kim. Katherine Kinland. Abigail E. King. Lori Klein. Tasha Niffin. Delaney Knox. Emma Kate Coyman. Robin Nicole Kroos. Jenica Lee Kies. Rachel Kies. Aaliyah Raquel Kyle. Gabriel Ladron de Guevara. Rachel Blair. Noah Ryan Lampkin. Grace Lamont. Benjamin Lee Larkin. Emily Rose Larson. Drew Larson. Nicole Kimberly Larson. Katrina Latham. Riley James Laughlin. Amanda Joy Lawrence. Lorianne Ledesma. Reed Ledgerwood. Daniel Lee. Apollo Leonard. Emily Nicole Levitt. Julie Lewis. Ethan Liggett. Stephanie Marie Limbaugh. Exile Lamone Bermudez. Peyton Linville. Julia Little. Jane Livingston. Michael Long. Sarah Noel Loring. Stevie Ann Loring. Christine Joy Love. Maya Love. Grayson Luther. Ivy Lavera. Catherine Leiden. Kevin Lyons. Svetlana Mackey. Oliver Mackerson. Avery John Madrill. Dorsa Mamutnia. Caitlin Mainwaring. Lane Malula. Ashley Manawa. Carly Marker. Tim Marker Jr. Michaela Christine Markham. Rex Duncan Markor. Olivia Marsh. Kane Martin. Frankie Martinez. Hannah Adair Martinez. Josephine Charlotte K. Martinez. Andrew Mason. Ella Matthews. Vienna Marie Mattis. Bailey Elizabeth Maynard. Paige Mackenzie McAtee. Heidi J. McBee. Adore Grace McCardle. 
Megan Elizabeth McCullough. Christian Rory Hanele McFarland. Tristan McGar. Eric McGee. Dina Mendoza. Sarah Dawn Ingabo Miller. Brendan Earl Milliken. Ainsley Misich. Melissa Malello. Allison Molzan. Justin Manuel Moreno. Kelly Maroney. Caitlin Morell. Ali Morris. Mia Gabrielle Munoz. Abby Murdoch. Bailey Myers. Madison Alexandra Myers. Ruth D. Myers. Kaisa Myrie. Justin Paul Nash. Catherine Darlene Navin. Emma Portia Nielsen. Troy Nelson. Paige Neufeld. Chloe Newell. Andy Wynn. Matthew Lee Wynn. Sarah Ann Nichols. Alifair Henny Noreen. Sarah Ann O'Brien. Kevin R. O'Brien. Deanna G. Ordonez. Joshua Paul Orit. Jose Rene Ortega. Jared Osikerko. Lacey Overstreet. Bailey Palmer. John Paul Paquette. Evan Payon. Drew Anthony Pearson. Kathleen Penaranda. Peyton Christine Perez. Maria Perez Garcia. Jody Perman. Sierra Perry. Ashley Peters. Nicole Peterson. Shiloh Noel Petros. Angela Pomavon. Khalid Ramzel Ponce Rangel. Lauren K. Ponder. Emily Porter. Jocelyn Presley. Vanessa Rabos. Josie Rodemacher. Catherine Ramirez Kimmel. Annabelle Reardon. Jamie Michael Reed. Alex Reichel. Fiona Riley. Samantha Raquel Remley. Brandon Rex Rote. Serena Riley. Tess Rillos. Natanya Rivera. Jasmine Rowe. Mary Roach. Tyler Roach. Natalie Roberts. 
Lily Robertson, Lana J. Rocks, Emma Rodriguez, Gabriella and Yvonne Ross, Haley Rupel, Cole Russell, Callie Safka, Christian Salas Kupado, John Salea, Anastasia Sanchez, Jordan Taylor Sanders, Megan Elizabeth Sandwich, Brianna Sark, Tim Sato, Darian Chattel, Anna Shreve, James Edward Stewart Jr., Amy Irene Schultz, Lindsay Schultz, Nicole Elizabeth Schumacher, Amelia Rose Schwab, Brittany Leanne Scott, Caitlin Grace Scott, Nina Claire Scruton, Mackenzie Sai, Rachel Seaman, Gabriella Araceli Serrano, McKenna Sevra, Kush Kadar Sharma, Hannah Lee Sharp, Valerie Shin, Kylie Short, Yumi Shita Shridhar, Courtney Silva Thresher, Julie M. Savini, Morgan Scrabbit, Alyssa Small, Edson Mackenzie Smith, Evan Smith, Haley Marie Smith, Jessica Ashley Smith, Juliana Smith, Lloyd Ignatius Ding Smith, Martin Smith, Peggy Delaney Smith, Taylor Smith, Elizabeth Sorn, Sopiram Sue, Chloe Spainhauer, Megan Marie Spencer, Jessica Statt, Haven Stanley, Rob Stanley, Haley Ann Harriet Staples, Jason Statt, Shannon Stein, Annalena Stanger, Brooke Stoddard, Sydney Ann Strauss, Andrew Michael Strong, Amy Patricia Steyer, Alexia Suarez, Elise Sullivan, Aria Leilani Susanta, Tegan Tamara, Sabrin Taylor, Megan Timer, Jessica Tong, Maggie Thomas, Abigail Ripley Thomas, Miles Elias Tibbetts, 
Carolyn Tierney. Daniela Solana Tierra. Jennifer Todd. Brady Tomlinson. Alejandro Cruz Torres. Joshua J. Tremaine. Shaylin Trunk. Carl Trung. Ashley Noel Twent. Caitlin Tyree. Lucas Van Dyke. Sean Van Zandt. Kira Dylan Vaughn. Priscilla Vaughn. Michael John Braun. Brianna D. Waldorf. Amanda Wall. Kimberly Wallace. Justin Ward Kazanis. Eden White. Katie Marie Wenzel. Caitlin White. Bryce Michael Whitford. Rachel Wickelman. Leah Wheeling. Elisa Aaron Williams. Colton Donald Witzman. Julia Woiner. Helen Elaine Wolden. Carter Wolf. Aaron T. Wright. Stephen Wright. Veronica Wright. Marcus Wyckoff. Taylor Yamamoto. Ryan Kainoa Yi. Richard Alexander Yonke III. Savannah Young. Tiffany Amber Zabrowski. James Zamora. Madeline Zeger. Xiaoyi Chung. Cody Lee Zimmerman. Vivian Sola. Ryan Zukowski. Hello to our last graduating class of 2020, to our graduates watching and to your friends and family who supported you along the way. Today it's official. You have reached the momentous accomplishment of becoming a graduate of Western Washington University. And tomorrow you will no longer be a student, but from here on out, you will always be an alumni. This is your day, it's your moment, be proud of your accomplishment, be proud of your effort, and be proud of the mark you left on Western, because believe me, each one of you did. And because you are a Western grad, I know you're not done. Not only is this a tremendous accomplishment, it's also a tremendous time to be graduating. This moment that you're graduating in, history is being written. My wish for you is that you let this time call you to greatness, to courage, and to connection. 2020 has starkly revealed deep inequities across the nation and shown us that so many of our systems and institutions do not serve all of us. 
2020 has also shown us how deeply interconnected we are and that we need each other more than ever before. And you, as Western graduates, have the opportunity to remake these systems and to create our new normal. When you have opportunity, education, talent, and privilege, you will never go wrong when you pay it forward, backward, and, as the late Representative John Lewis encourages us to do, make that good trouble. The world needs bold, brave, and integrity-filled leadership. I will never forget my graduation from Western for so many reasons. It was a beautiful August day full of celebration, and it was also the last day I saw my mom alive. She died just a couple months after I graduated, and her last message to me on my Facebook wall was, you got her done, munchkin. Sometimes life will throw you curveballs and will break your heart right open. And in that dark time of grief, it was the family I had created at Western, and specifically a good friend named Levi, who took me in and saved my life. And in that way, life will surprise you too, if you let it. So my message to you is this, love big. Don't let things go unsaid and pause to really notice and appreciate the moments you are given, the big and the small, the peaks and the valleys. I hope you enjoy every minute of this day in achievement. I am certain it's not the graduation you had dreamed of, but you made it. The torch is yours to carry. And you already have about 140,000 new friends in the world, fellow Western alumni who can't wait to bump into you, meet you, mentor you, reminisce with you about campus, and work hand in hand with you to remake the world into a better place. It is my honor to officially welcome you to the Western family of alumni. I would like to express my appreciation to the many people who have worked long hours and served in critical roles planning and implementing today's virtual graduation ceremony. And graduates, I hope that you will return to campus someday soon to participate in a traditional life commencement ceremony. You will be most welcome. One of the traditions of our life ceremonies is the memory walk from Carver to Old Main through a corridor of cheering faculty and staff. Usually graduates place their memorabilia like student ID cards, poems, letters to your future self in a box which we later seal and cement into the walkway in front of Old Main. If you have something to contribute, please visit the commencement webpage for instruction about depositing virtually or mailing tangible items. Thank you for participating today and congratulations as you embark on the next chapter of your lives. Thank you.